Hurry along, my sweet. We weigh anchor at ten bells. <laughs> You're sounding quite nautical, Cedric. <laughs> well, if I'm going to be rubbing shoulders with the yachting set, I don't want to sound like a landlubber. Thanks again for looking after Podgy while we're gone. Oh, no trouble at all. You run along now and enjoy your cruise. Now, Podgy, you... Where's Podgy? He was here a minute ago. Mm. Podgy? Come mm. in, Now you be good, Podgy, dear. Mm. I will, Mum. Mind your manners. And try not to make a pig of yourself. <laughs> no, Mum. Well, you'd better be going if you're going to make Rocky Bay by ten bells. <laughs> Bye, Dad. See you when you get back. Goodbye. Enjoy yourselves. Bon voyage. Bye. Now you two have fun on your hike. And be careful. We will, Mum. All set, Podgy? You bet. You look like you're planning to be gone for a week. Well, Hoover, you told me to pack a lunch. beside the stream. Oh, boy! <laughs> Lunch! Let's go! Back, Podgy. If only he liked exercise as much as he does food. What? Amazing. Boxes and furniture floating in the air. Podgy! Come back! Look at this! Hey! Good old Podgy. I knew he wouldn't go far without stopping for a snack. Podgy! Hi, Woodford. Have one. Thanks. What are they? I don't know. I found them. You found them? Hey, come on. There's enough for both of us. You noodle. Don't you know better than to eat something that you've found? You don't know where they've come from. Or even what they are. Don't worry, Rupert. My trusty snout would warn me if they weren't good to eat. Besides, as I always say, he who hesitates is hungry. Well, in this case, he who didn't hesitate could be in for a terrible stomachache. Or worse. Hey, what's that stuff doing up there? I don't know, but they're coming from somewhere nearby. Come on, Podgy. Let's see what's going on. Right behind you, Rupert! <laughs> Splendid! I'd know that voice anywhere. Yes, yes, simply splendid. <laughs> Hello, Professor! Rupert, my boy, how good to see you. I might have known this would be another of your experiments. Yes, I've made an amazing discovery, and a very serendipitous one at that. As you can see, I've had to move out of doors. The ceilings in my laboratory were becoming quite overcrowded. <laughs> it all started when I was trying to develop a formula for a new type of fast-rising yeast. My mum uses yeast to bake bread. It makes the dough rise. Right you are, my boy, right you are. Nothing like a fresh home-baked loaf of bread, eh? Warm from the oven with a bit of jam and butter. Why, I recall when I was a lad, just the smell of bread in the oven would... Um, I say, now, where was I? Your experiment? 
Ah, yes, the fast rising yeast, was it? Here it is, my secret ingredient, as it were. Now then, imagine my surprise when I went into the kitchen to check on a sample loaf of bread I was baking. And there it was, on the ceiling. The bread? No, the stove, my boy, the stove, right up on the ceiling, floating about like a helium balloon. Extraordinary, wouldn't you say? Now then, a demonstration. It's those cakes. We simply crumble one of these into this crate, close the lid, and ha ha! Astounding, wouldn't you say? Think of the possibilities. I am. Now then. I'll be right back, Professor. Children these days have such short attention spans. Now then, where was I? Pudgy! Oh, no. Pudgy! Ooh. Ow! Help! Up here! Help! Hang on, Pudgy! Experiments. They make things float. Grab on. Oh no. Aww. <laughs> it's not funny, Rupert. Sorry, Pudgy. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> hey, Rupert. I'm an aeroplane. <laughs> in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Podgy and Rupert. <laughs> <laughs> You'd better come down a bit. I can't seem to go any higher. Rupert, I can't. I'm going higher. Oh, no. Podgy, how many of those things have you eaten? Not many. Only a couple of another cake as long as I live. <laughs> well, well, what have we got here then? Shoo, go away. Oh, come on, Governor. Spare a morsel for an hungry bird. No, it's mine. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Look down there. What? Where? A cruise ship. Right, oh, mate. Mm. And there's no better place to find a free meal. Hey, get away from my stuff. Come on, lad. Let's go down to that ship and give him the old I'm a poor hungry birdie what's down on his luck routine, eh? Yahoo! Last one down eats leftovers! Wait, I think that's the ship my mum and dad are on. Oh, dear. I should have worn my pearls. Now, Lily, don't you worry. Your eyes shine brighter than any diamonds, my pet. Oh, <laughs> Cedric. Go on. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm having such a wonderful time. <laughs> I hope Podgy is behaving himself. Don't worry. I'm sure Podgy and Rupert are having a grand time together. No sign of Podgy, or land, either. <gasps> I'd better eat the... No! 
well. I hope this does the trick. Uh, well, what's happening? That cake sort of thing that you ate back there is making you float. It was terribly clumsy of me to have dropped it. <laughs> this is fun! Whee! I've always wondered what it was like above the waves. <laughs> what kind of bird are you? I'm not a bird. I'm a bear. Rupert Bear. I'm Angel. A pleasure to meet you, Rupert. I didn't know the bears fly. Well, on good days, they don't. Oh. I didn't realize it would be so dry up here. Don't worry. You only ate one. It will wear off soon. Here. Oh, thank you, Rupert. There. Do you feel it? We're beginning to sink already. Now I can show you all the beautiful things below the waves. Thank you for the invitation, but I'm afraid that I won't last long underwater. Oh, dear. Rupert, look! An island. I just might be able to swim for it. Goodbye, Rupert. Goodbye. Good luck. Just a bit more. Made it. Whoa! Oh, safe and... Well, well, a visitor. <laughs> we hate visitors. <laughs> Grab him. <laughs> She's primed, loaded, and ready to go. This'll be like shooting ducks in a pond. <laughs> You're obviously busy with something. I'm terribly sorry to drop in like this. If, if you'd just lend me a boat, I'll be... Oh! Oh! No. no, wait! What? More brats dropping out of the sky? Oh. Get out there with the other one! Ah! Other one? You don't mean... Pudgy! Rupert! You landed here as well? Yeah. That rising stuff wore off just as I was over this island. And then those cutthroats grabbed me and stuck me down here. Shh. They're up to no good, Pudgy. They're planning something. But what? It's worse than you think, Rupert. What is it? They... Yes? They... Tell me, Podgy. They took my knapsack! We're going to starve! Come on, Podgy. You've always got something ferreted away. Check your pockets. They're empty. Honest. Oh! <laughs> I forgot about those. <coughs> well, well, well! If it ain't me old pal. <laughs> Friend of yours, Podgy? No. He just wants to eat my food. Oh, come on, Galf. The pickings was mighty slim on that cruise ship. Those blue-blooded popping jays are even stingier than you. And them dripping with diamonds and jewels and the like, too. Fancy that. The cruise ship. That's it. That's the one my parents are on. We better not let them see us, or we'll really be in trouble. No, don't you see? These pirates are going to rob the passengers of all their diamonds and jewels. That's why they're fixing up that old cannon. The ship won't stand a chance. We've got to stop them. But what can we do, Rupert? We're trapped here. Come on now, lad. Where are you hiding that bag of yours what's filled with all the lovely treats? That's it! Podgy, did you have any of the professor's cakes left in your knapsack? A few? Why? I have a plan. Get a move on, you lazy slugs! She's coming into range! Come on, men! Let's shove off! This is gonna be easy pickings! They'll never know what hit them! Ha 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 ha! Oh, no! There's not much time! Here you go, lads! Piece of cake it was! Fantastic! Um, speaking of which, you wouldn't happen to have a nice bit of chocolate cake in there, would you? They 
there you are. You've earned it. A pleasure doing business with you, laddie. A pleasure. Hey, you didn't have to give him the whole thing. Come on, Podgy. We've got to take care of that big cannon. As soon as we get out of this mess, I'll buy you a dozen ice creams. Well, what are we waiting for? Oh. Mm. Mm. Yum, yum. These are delicious, mm. Podgy. Oh, yes. Mmm. Yummy. Mm. Ah. Hey, what are you two eating? Oh, um, nothing, sir. Give me those, you little brat. <laughs> now sit down and shut up, or I'll... Hey! What? Let's go, Pudgy! Come back here! Oh. Hey, wait! Throw the anchor! <laughs> Ready? Aim? Uh, don't fire! Whoa. Where do you think you're going? Don't just stand there! Reel me Now's out. our chance! Come on! Get down here! That's what I'm trying well, to do! Fooling around, you overweight seagull! You think I'm enjoying this? Hey! They're getting away! Those rotten kids! Hey! Don't let me get away! Ready, Podgy? I'm always ready for a snack, Rupert. All right, you little brats. Enough of your... Huh? <laughs> that does it. You're gonna pie for this. Here we go again. Yeah! For a minute there, I thought I was a goner. Come on, we've got to warn the cruise ship. Do you think Podgy will be all right? Of course, dear. I can't help feeling that he needs me. Now, don't you worry, Lily. Podgy's a big boy. You're just missing him, that's all. No, that's not it. The funny thing is, I feel as if he were nearby somehow. <laughs> huh? ah! Hurry, Pudgy! <laughs> Look out! Oh dear, what's going on out there? What is it, Cedric? We seem to be under attack by pirates. <laughs>
Thank you for the ride home, Professor. It was the least I could do, my boy, after all the trouble I've caused. Next time, I won't create such appetizing experiments. It wasn't your fault, Professor. I should have known better than to eat something if I didn't know what it was or where it came from. Let that be a lesson to you, lad. <laughs> hey! Fortunately, you didn't eat any of the most recent batch. It seems I made some sort of miscalculation in the formula. <laughs> Blimey! Talk about indigestion! I seem to have invented some new type of rocket fuel! Think of the possibilities, my boys! Think of it! We are, Professor. 